Alrighty, this is my research in regards to magnetic spin on permanent magnets um, and my testing and it's based around Ken Wheeler's research and all this is his um, as you can see we have a clockwise spin and a counterclockwise spin um, on each end of a magnet according to his research he was also spin in one direction in the centre spin in the opposite direction around the outside and that's the one we're looking for we have two identical magnets here one bare one wrapped in tape to electrically isolate the outer rim of the magnet the white depicts the south field as you can see on both magnets course north is attracted to south and uh, we just have our little mounting bolt for this setup here so I'm going to put the camera down and we're going to have the south at the negative potential I'm going to put that one a little further away because these magnets attract each other within a foot of each other so we'll stick it over there Alright, so our south field is up and that is what's hooked to the negative, sorry about the red clip lead that I ran out of the black ones but as you can see it goes through our amp meter and the black is in here our voltage meter set on volts and our red cord of course is going from there into the bottom of the tank onto our stainless steel plate so south on the magnet negative potential stainless steel plate in the tank positive potential I'll try and get that as close to the edge of the tank as I can alright so we're going to have a look at the spin direction with the side of the magnet insulated so we're going to be looking at of the uh, spin on the top of the magnet I'll switch the power on and as you can clearly see anti-clockwise absolutely no question about it So we have an anti-clockwise spin on the south end of the magnet with the tape around it which is the negative potential. So we're going to put the camera down, I'm not even going to stop the show this time, turn the power off, take that one off, put this one on. As we have done here, uh, we'll grab the compass just so you can see. North needle is pointing to the south field. We'll now stick it. This screw is not straight. Okay, that's looking a bit better. Once again, south field. Pick that up, put it on there, back in the tank, we'll switch the power on and see what happens. Bang, straight away, clockwise spin. Without a doubt. tell by the angles of the bubbles going up the side of the magnet that it is spinning clockwise on the outside. Now, I don't know if you've seen that but when we first started it up you could actually see the center of the magnet spinning or the vortex on the center of the mag magnet spinning counterclockwise so we'll try and get that again. No, it's a bit hard. Bubbles on the outside come rushing up straight away. But anyway, there you have it. We have a counterclockwise spin in the centre and a clockwise or a counterclockwise spin on the outside, sorry, and a clockwise spin in the centre. And the tape is around the outside of the magnet. 
So, uh, there you go. A clear clockwise spin. And with the tape on, counterclockwise. Hope I've got that right. Might have got a bit mixed up there, but um, exciting times. Try that again. I'm going to put the tape one back on there. Which is this one here. Draw my hands a bit so my camera doesn't get wet. Put a magnet with the tape on it. Old trusty compass. As you can see. Southfield on the white mark. Switch it back on. Yes, counterclockwise. Absolutely. And it's quite concentrated in the centre, whereas the magnet without the tape, um, most of the volume is around the outside. Okay, well, that's my test for this one. It's just backing up the last test that I did video and you have seen in the last video that the magnet actually spun in the same direction as the center spin of the um, vortex so interesting times thanks for watching guys